Good morning guys, this is RLC321 and I'm back again with another Star Trek The Original Series Update Build Progress thing in my bobby for you. Um, first off, I want to say I hope everyone had a very good Christmas. Um, I know I did, I spent it with my family. <coughs> so that was that's always nice. And I hope you guys had had a very good one as well. And I know this is a bank holiday right now in the UK, it's Boxing Day in the UK. So I hope anyone in the UK that's off of work and is enjoying the time off. <laughs> yes, because I enjoy the time off. Really, really do. So, anyway, let's get back into what we're doing. I've already sanded off all the bits. I'm not going to worry about um, five minutes because I've done it like three or four times now. So I, know, I now know they're going to be fine now. <sighs> but I think it's time we put things together. Now, normally I would have put on this first into here um, which I suppose I could do but I want to put the saucer section in first yes I want to put that in in first because I've got to try and thread all the wires through this hole okay I've already got some wires in there and I've got all this gump going oh I didn't finish sanding this off hang on yeah. Dear, 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 dear. Hang on, excuse me a second. I just got to very quickly just do do this here. Sorry, sorry. There, that will do. There we go. Let's get a smoothie bit. Let's get a smoothie bit in there. Look at that smoothie. There. Right. Okay. So I think, just in case I need to go through in here, no I don't think I need to, no I'm going to put the saucer on, I don't know which is going to be best actually, let's have a look what the instructions say, what's best to put on first, let's see, let's see, let's see, oh, oh okay it says to put the the engine on, on first though I think, that is what we shall do, we'll put the engines on first. Yes indeedy. Right, so let's get the Ubly flip here. I've already got that taped off. Let's fold that down as well. Okay, so we should have enough wire to poke through. So, first things I'm going to do is first off scrape off any excess paint that's on here just so we can get a good grip in and these have like guiding guiding holes that it goes clips onto and I've got the wire here which once this is dried I can then put in and I'm just gonna hold it in place so I'll bring you guys back when this is dried okay so now I'm back now I'm gonna be putting this on this small end goes out towards the back so the problem is, this could get a bit messy. So I've already taken off the, taken the glue off. Not the glue, the paint. OK. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to place this in. And then, I'm going to push that down and hold that in place. Yes. Now, <coughs> I hope you guys got what you wanted for Christmas. You know, I did. I had, I was, as I said, I was spending it with my family. My family. And that's pretty much all I really wanted for Christmas. You know, spending time with your family is the, the, the best thing, especially when you don't see them that often. So it's always a good, always, always a good thing. So, here we go. We're going to just do, get this done. Let that glue dry before I can let go of it. Um, see, I don't want to use tape on it. I want to keep a hold of it because I don't want it to... Um, pop up or anything like that because these are quite weighty so I think I might put just a little bit of extra uh, extra Tamiya extra thin on there just to be on the safe side Preferably without touching any other plastic, that would be good. Because what I like about the Tamiya Extra Thin, it actually spreads itself into the gaps. I mean, you can probably tell, you can see, I don't know if you can, yeah, right there, you can see where it's actually started to run down that, that groove. But that doesn't matter, we can sand that off later once it's dried. Because we're going to be repainting it anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's not looking too bad. We are almost getting a ship together, guys. We oh. That's better. Now we focused. <laughs> oh, there is one thing I did get. And I... I Eventually, I'm going to be saving up for the 1350 Enterprise A, the refit version, because I really, I really, really, really want that. Yes, I do. But my my, my partner, she did buy me um, the 1537 Enterprise A refit, which obviously I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to go all out on that. I'm going to do all the bells and whistles. I'm also going to see if I can teach myself how to use the Arduino and make an Arduino code for the Enterprise refit and then get that so it all it lights up in sequence like the beginning of the the Enterprise uh, not Enterprise Star Trek the motion picture when they first enter the end go on go on to the Enterprise and start up and get all the lights to turn on in sequence and then you can do all of that with the Arduino and I'm gonna have a soundboard on it as well so it, it has all the, the sounds the music as it's going along it's gonna be brilliant and I'm, I'm going to be doing that and I'll take you through that as well I won't go through it step by step because there's, I'm going to be copying what another uh, YouTuber um, Long Neck Ostrich or Ostrich Long Neck I think he's called I can't remember but he goes through all the different steps of creating the Arduino codes putting it on the breadboard so you can get a good idea what it looks like but then obviously you're going to have to what I will go through with you is putting that onto a, a PCB board with everything you you would need or I might use an Arduino Nano which has already got all the everything in place you just copy the code onto the Arduino Nano after you've got everything correct on the, Ard the main Arduino board and then I can have the Arduino Nano power everything on there that's what I think I might do it's probably gonna be a lot easier than trying to solder everything onto a PCB board so I'm going to do that because I'll get all the the the, the pulse, uh, not the, the strobe lights correct, the flashing lights correct. The I'm going to have the the phaser sounds when the phasers light or some of the phasers light up. One or two of the phasers light up. Um, probably just the front phaser light up. I think that's probably going to be the best. And the the to photon torpedoes, obviously the interior lights and everything like that is going <coughs> to 
switch on. I'm gonna, it's I'm gonna try and do it so it's almost as if it is the the one three fifty scale, but obviously the one five three seven scale. Yes, obviously I'm gonna get photo etched for it as well. I'm gonna be getting the uh, decals for it. Hopefully, if I can find any. If I can't find any decals, then I'm gonna have to go with mask paint masks, and I don't envy that one bit because that's a bit of a pain. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and do it anyway. Right. So while I'm holding on to that, I'm going to see if I can try and get this wire through that little gap in there. So I'm going to grab hold. of this little oobly and hopefully I can push it through the gap there You want, you know, you want to. Oh, this is a pain in the iris. Where are you? Come on. Right, there we go. Right, so I've got hold of that there. So then now, hopefully. Dow oh, Shizer, that didn't work too well, did it? Let's just pull those wires out, and that's typical. Yeah. So, let's do it the other way then. Um, just gonna have to twist these wires together. Which is fine. Which is what I have to do, is what I have to do. And, we shall try that again. There, let's grab hold of the wire, and there we go. So, gently pull that through, and there we go. <coughs> we have now got the engineering wiring out. Good, right. So, that's that, 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 that. So, then now, eventually. I've now got to try and get the wiring from there through here as well. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Not at all. So yeah, that, that's what I plan to do with the the, the 15337 um, build, which I am looking forward to. I've still got to get to the, the JJ prize as well. But uh, I'm going to buy a proper lighting kit for the JJ prize because it, it has the spinning boussards that go that way and, and I want to get that. But that's 40 quid. That's 40 quid. And the Aztec decals, which I know I can get for the JJ prize, is $40, which is about £35-ish, give or take. Um, plus postage, which is coming in from the, from the States. Can you hold it one second, guys? Okay, sorry about that guys, I am now back. So yeah, this one's going to be fun trying to thread all that through as well. But I'm, I've got to make sure this is on relatively tight because that's just going to come undone like the other one did. But yeah, so I need to scrape off in here. bones plastic for it to stick to and let's do it scrape it along there There 
go, that should do. That will be enough. Right. So I think that's pretty much on. But I think what I'll do, I'm going to bring you guys back when this is dry a little bit longer. I'm going to let it sit just a little bit longer just to make sure it's dried fully. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so it's had hopefully enough time to dry. And it looks like it has. Good, right. So what I now need to do is get these wires into here. So I'm just going to pull this over here. Push these in there. So hopefully that will be as close as I can get it to the hole. And then try and find the hole to push it through. There's the there's the things. Let's see, can I push you up a bit higher? Come on. Ah, oh, this is a pain in the iris. Gradually pull these wires through, hopefully without damaging anything. What's that? That green one seems to be caught on something. What? I don't know yet. And see what you're caught on. Oh, this is fun. Somewhere. Right. Best laid plans and all that stuff. What are you caught on? It looks like you're caught on something in there. I can't quite see what it is. Let's see if I can move it. Wait, I put no, there there. Those are fine. Oh, I see. It looks like it's been caught on the, some of the windows. There we go. There we go. Right. So, before we go any further, 
let's get some glue down so I'm going to get some glue into here that onto there and then just continue pulling these wires through there we go right okay Oof. we are getting there slowly but surely so now I just need to hold on to that let's make sure it's all straight though first of all which it looks like it is it looks like it's all nice and straight and even Now I have, I think I've mentioned it before, but I have ordered the masking set from Green Strawby, which is a Czechoslovakian company. And, ah, oh, shizer. Damn it. All right, no. Box, right. I'm kidding. Box. So yeah, I've ordered the, what's it called? The masking set. Um, for the the window so I'm not going to be painting this just yet because I need to master the windows and everything first and I do not want to uh, start painting it until that's in one once 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 well <laughs> try again once it's in then we'll be able I'll be able to do all of those things get the mask in set put the masks over the windows prime it, paint it and it's gonna look good it is so I'm gonna bring you guys back once I finish holding on to these because they're being a pain in the backside now because this one's decided to come up and I'm holding on to the holding on to that I need to get hold of this let's get some Let's get a lot of this stuff in here actually. And press this back down into place. So I will bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, so it's semi dry. But I thought you'd want to see it looking like that at the minute. Um what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut these wires down, get everything ready for testing the lights because now you've got everything on here, we need to test the lights and make sure they are a-okay and working. So that's gonna be the next bit in a few minutes so I will see you guys in a few minutes. Right, okay, so I've just temporarily put all these wires together and it seems everything is working we've got the red and green over there we should have a white over here yep they're all working you, ca you can't see it but now, now you can in there basically see the flickering LEDs in there we've got the what my cells these are glowing at the back which you can't see I still need to finish sanding them off actually I should be able to whoops there you can just about see it glowing there so the lighting is working and also if I just bring you over to the front here there we go you can see that's now working as well that the I can't think what that is called 
but that's not glued in yet hence there's light leaking out from there I've just temporarily put that in and sorry for the shaky cam so all the lights are still working which is a bonus <sighs> yeah <laughs> yeah so we're, 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 we're getting somewhere so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave all that as it is and let it dry 100% fully probably a good couple of hours and then um, then we can go I can go in chop these wires down consolidate them all make them all nice and neat um, actually I need to remove some bits here that I put on this because there's some that don't belong on there which is these bits here these bits do not belong on there so I'm just going to keep those in how they're, they're done because I've wired some of these wrong so like this one here is actually power this one's the negative I've, I've, I've wired it wrong when I first done it I think I mentioned that in one of my earlier videos about it and these are all the the normal normal lights these are going to be flashing lights I need to separate two of them so one set will be flashing these the other set will be flashing this and this green one that's sitting at the back here so I'll, I'll need to figure out which one's which. Actually, let's let's do that now while you're on the while you're here, so you can see the the process. I suppose if that's what you want to call it. Um, actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I know exactly which one it is. So if I just take that off, keep those together, and. Take that off there. There we go. And then keep these together. Just so I know that they're they're the right ones. Because these this I believe is going to these flashes here. So let's plunk that in there. So, yeah, it's actually going to these these um, fiber optic LEDs right there. So, I now know that's going to go in the second flashing board that we created. And these are going to go in the other one to fire up the main ones. Okay, so, simples. Ish, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go, guys. That's the the enterprise the original series is what's kind of put together it's not fully fully dry yet i still need to sort this out the reason i'm not um glued this into place is because i want to mask it all because that's all pretty much done painted and ready to go um i don't know if i can reach it from here without damaging things Oh yeah. This is almost done. I just need to paint a bit of grey in there and a bit of grey on this this little tippy thing here. Not the tippy tip but the little bulgy bit and the bulgy bit there. Paint that grey. And then that's pretty much painted and then that will obviously there's a picture over there. That'll fit in a hole somewhere. Just in, in there. Obviously, not being glued on yet. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stay. But you get the idea. So yeah, that's the the Enterprise, the original series Enterprise, no less. So I'm just. I need to try and put this in an area where it's. Get it. There we go. I think that'll do. 
So, oh, and I need to dig out a little trench because I could not get this wire through. Even though it's really thin, I could not get it through this hole. Uh, this hole I needed to be slightly bigger. So I'll have to remember that in the future, make the hole bigger <laughs> to get the wires in. And you're out of focus there, so let's go. There we go. So where the wires are coming through, must make sure bigger. And I'm going to cut these down, feed them all into the one, into like two or three wires. So you've got one, two, three wires, but just three wires coming out, not this big conglomerate mess coming through. So anyway, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you later on today with a continuation of this. Well, hopefully, late by later on today, it would be all nice and dry. And then, um, then we can continue doing whatever it is that we we do, which is not a lot. Recording in three, two, one. Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you bring you back just very very quickly because I wanted to show you the the flashing circuit working. So it's flashing these fiber optics, this at the back here, and I've got a little bit of light that will flash that little orange bit there. Okay. And obviously you can see how it's flashing. Obviously it's not Canon, but it's the best I can do. But I thought, let's have a little go of having a quick look at everything as it's all lit up there you go that's what it's going to look like oh no come on get in there oh, this, I'm losing I'm losing the connection here <laughs> yeah there we go and there uh, that's it there we go so that is what it's going to look like when it's pretty much all finished so uh, just a little addendum onto the video, just thought you, I thought you might be interested to see the flashing circuit work and everything like that. There you go. Right. So guys, now I will definitely see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye now.